Recently, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 was announced at the Game Awards after the original was released over 10 years ago. 10 years! And that's mainly due to low sale numbers, along with the 2012 bankruptcy of THQ, causing them to cancel the two planned sequels. But, like fine wine, Space Marine only got better with time and has seemed to garner much more favorable attention over the years. Whether you know about Warhammer 40k lore or not is irrelevant to actually play Space Marine, because the setting and protagonist are among some of the best science fiction has to offer. Let's set the stage. You play as Captain Titus of the Ultramarines Second Company, voiced by Mark Strong. Ultramarines are a legion of Space Marines, Space Marines being super soldiers that have been physically enhanced to withstand pretty much anything that's thrown at them. I mean, they have two hearts, three lungs, a second stomach to catch poison, night vision, along with numerous other implants to go along with their almost eight foot frame. It's like if you took Dr. Disrespect and threw some power armor on him and told him to fight for violence, speed, and momentum, just as long as you do it for the Emperor! Look at this dude. Push this huge ass artillery shell like it's nothing. So you're sent to save a forge world being taken over by orcs. And as we later discover the intervention of a warband of chaos space marines called the Chosen of Nemiroth. Basically, it's blue guy good, everyone else bad. Kill everyone else, but do it for the Emperor! But don't have too much fun or your buddy Leandros will get upset that you aren't letting the Codex run your life. The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Try to keep it. This game came out during a time full of great hack and slash games like God of War, Bayonetta, Devil May Cry, Dante's Inferno, Darksiders, Heavenly Sword. I mean, if you were a hack and slash fan, around 2010 was a great time to be a gamer. And although this game is a very short game, coming in usually around five to eight hours depending on the difficulty, it is a quality experience with great writing, awesome weapons from chain swords and bolter pistols to basically Thor's hammer. Oh, and the only way to heal is to kill. <laughs> On top of all the killing and badassery, you have a story that draws you in upon each chapter as you go further down the rabbit hole of chaos and Captain Titus's connection to it. All of this culminating in a cliffhanger ending that, spoiler alert, goes unanswered for 10 years. I do not know why I can resist the touch of chaos, but I swear I will discover the truth. We will discover many truths, Space Marine. Well, kind of. See, you can look at the Warhammer wiki for Titus and see his fate, but it doesn't bring us any closer to answers about the ties to chaos, nor does it satisfy our 10-year itch for more. But with the Space Marine 2 trailer already showing gameplay, there is hope that soon, in the not-so-distant future, we'll have a release date with a long-awaited sequel. Until then, load in some mods, send your enemies back to hell, and again, just make sure you do it. For the Emperor! Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, guys. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next one.